Hello everyone, it's CC again, and welcome to, um, something. I'm not sure what I'm going to be calling this series, but this is kind of, uh, it's like PvP analysis, but not as in-depth, I guess. Uh, but it's similar, it's gonna be post-com style. This is episode one, and today I'm going to be going over a banana split gameplay that I have, and a boom gameplay that I have. Um, right, so I am on blue team for this game. Uh, as you can see, Banana Split has a lot of verticality. Is that even a word? Uh, it has a lot of vertical gameplay due to the jungle trees. Um, so that's interesting. That's unique about the map. Uh, two walls per side. And there are islands in the middle to help people get across the void. Um, that ha really has opened up the gameplay a little bit in Banana Split. It used to be that it's just one bridge right down the center, but now you can have bridges on either side too. Um, so my main strategy for Banana Split is really just kind of hang back and wait for an opening. Uh, as you can see, I just kind of sit here and shoot for a large portion of the time actually. And I get a fair amount of kills that way, a fair amount of raindrops. Um, but as you can see, it's very dangerous bridging over void, everybody knows that. Bridging over the void is uh, the death of many a fine overcast player. So I don't particularly like to do that. Instead I usually sit around and shoot people and help my team build the bridges uh, along uh, over the void. And then I can take those bridges myself when I'm feeling a little more equipped, a little more ready. Uh, you do get iron as a kill reward on this map so it does help to kind of stay back and get uh, armor every now and then if you want to increase your chances of survival. There also are two flame blows on the map, one on either side. Sorry if you heard my dog there. Um, they're in the top of the trees. I usually don't go for them. Usually people rush those pretty quickly so I see there's no need for me to go get them. Um, I do trust my teammates a little bit that they're a better shot than me and they can use the flame bow to more effect. So you see, this nice bridge has been built for me. My teammates are very nice people, but it's not quite finished. I want to get all the way on top of the trees. Um, it's harder for the enemy team to get up there, uh, so I particularly like that. I was going to make a staircase and then I'm like, uh, screw it, I'm just going to, uh, oh, trying to shoot that guy off. But I said, oh, screw it, I'm just going to bridge up here. So I could continue on over here to the next tree, but uh, as I said before, I really don't like risking my own life. I like risking my teammates' lives. So I'm gonna wait for a teammate to come and uh, build that bridge for me while I kind of cover his back and just get some more raindrops and more kills. So this guy's building a bridge behind me, I can hear him. And I see that it's built uh, decently, so I'm gonna head over there in a second here. I try not to shoot down at the people below because that usually just alerts more people that you're up there, which then means that you're gonna have more people shooting at you and you're in an exposed location, which is also why I dug those three blocks out. And I'm just helping my teammate out moving, giving him cover fire. Uh, again, I like to try to dig three blocks out there and I kind of screwed up, uh, which kind of made it a little bit more difficult, actually. Uh, I should put a little wool there to stop, to uh, cap that vine entrance area, but I didn't, oh well. Um, yeah, so you see, I'm like, hesitant to shoot at the people down there. Uh, there's some defenders down there which I start shooting at and I think I hear someone behind me if I'm not mistaken But I could be wrong Again, uh, just kind of raining raining arrows down from above trying to thin out the defenders waiting for a time to go um, So I do kind of like to play this offensive Defensive strategy. I'm not really sure what to call it, but it's not it's not an all-out rush, but it, it's more like opportunistic offense it's like, I will go and try to cap that wool if there's a nice bridge that leads there that my team's built for me and there's no enemies in sight and I can just kind of kill people with my bow. <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense. Um, but I don't like to risk my life when playing. Um, at least, I mean, it, it's no fun dying, right? I mean, I can understand why some people like to just rush and see if they can't get past the uh, defenses, which I've done before, and I'm really sad that this guy came down after me. I shifted there to try to hide from him, but he just ended up coming after me. Um, so I'm going to go out the same route again, because I think that the treetops is the way, are the way to go. The treetops are the way to go um, on this map. Uh, I really think having the height advantage and getting to the war rooms is much easier if you go up that way. 
Um, so when you do get on top of the trees, there's cobwebs in the border control-esque area that you can drop into, which provide a very nice soft landing point for you and your teammates who wish to attack the wool. And I don't think I ever actually do that in this gameplay. I don't think I ever find an opportunity to actually rush for the wool, which is a shame indeed. Um, and I can hear him breaking. I saw him building up stuff, so I'm just waiting for him to break those blocks. And then I know I've hit him a couple times, so I know I can melee him fairly easily. And I, again, take up my sniper spot, and I try to just help out my team. I find that I'm better at taking out teammates and helping my team than I am actually rushing to a wall. Um, although I'm not too horrible at rushing for a wall, I just like to cater to my strength. I, I like, I'd like to think that I'm not uh, too bad of a shot. And again, I'm just kind of covering my teammates' backs. Got a couple nice shots there, and I think he goes off and I get another kill maybe? Oh no, I just shoot him. Nice. Uh, again, we have that flame bow. We have the flame bow, as I was talking about earlier. One of the defenders has it, which is uh, rather annoying if you ask me. And I build a crafting bench here to make a sword. And I make my sword, and this will come back to haunt me, kind of. I'm not really sure. Um, I didn't even know that guy was there, and I just get comboed before I can even do anything, which is a real shame, but uh, that's that's Minecraft PvP for you. Um, uh, to be fair, he did get the surprise on me, so he should have killed me there, uh, and I just totally failed that jump uh, trying to take out that guy, but oh well, sometimes you fail. Again, I'm just going to go up the same path because I figure out, because I figure why not? It seems very... Um, undefended by the red team that middle path up to the treetop so I figured I'll do that I see this guy bridging out I figured why not take a shot at him and uh, head on my merry way get an extra easy easy kill there so which is very nice and I say oh let me make another iron sword at this crafting bench I so desired and I'm telling you making iron swords is the bane of my existence here and it's a shame we had a very nice offense going but uh, red team here caps both walls which is, which is a shame. So uh, I also have a boombox gameplay here to make the video a little bit longer. Or sorry, not boombox, boom. Uh, very similar name, boombox is on Prime though. Very good map, we just had a mini tournament. Everybody go check that out if you haven't. So boom, I usually just keep running straight to the side that I spawn in, spawn facing I mean. So I literally just run straight to whatever side. I see that blue has a lot more people on this side than I do. Uh, than we do, so I'm just gonna pot shots and bows and arrows in. Uh, that actually it seems to help a lot, I think. Uh, if you have someone or two people just kind of sitting back, just bowing into an area. Uh, I'm gonna pick up some TNT here. You need TNT to destroy the orbs on this. There's two orbs on each side. You can see the gold things uh, every once in a while in the video. Um, see that gold right there? Yeah. Uh, you have to destroy the gold with the TNT that you pick up. That's the purpose of this map. And you can see that we already have some damage onto the blue team's orb. And I figure, well, the other side has a lot of blue guys. And I don't want to die, because dying's no fun for me. So I'm going to go to the other side and maybe try to get an orb with all the TNT I have. So that's what I do. I head up to the top here. So you can see it has a little bit uh, of vertical gameplay here. And the blue guy is trying to defend his orb. I'm trying to shoot him off. I fail miserably and shoot the guy behind him somehow. And then I'm like, okay, here we go. And I place TNT everywhere. And then I have to switch to my redstone torch to set off the TNT. You can only use TNT to destroy the orb, by the way. You cannot use... Um, and I just hit the... I, th I thought that was pretty nice. I hit that guy off and on my way down. And then run around. And haven't died yet, which is uh, miraculous for me. I usually die a fair amount. Trying not to die, I usually die a fair amount. You do get health pots, uh, I believe, upon kill rewards, so you can use those. And I forget that you cannot place stuff on the TNT spawning area, which is the obsidian marked area, so I tried to build it up there, fail. So I know we have that orb, I know blue has one of our orbs, so I'm going to go to the other side and try to take out that orb too, because why not, right? And as you can see, now that we have the other side, our red team has pushed up here, and the blue team probably pushed up on the other side. So I say, let's go over here, I'll pull her up, and I'll go the same route. I managed to get that guy off, which is good for our team. He One of the best strategies on this map is to actually go over the other team's spawn to the other orb. And as you can see here, blue is in the not right spot, and I just placed some TNT down because I want to get some of this 
I want to get some of that uh, orb raindrops, please. And I actually do. Woohoo! Anyway, that's it for episode one of this. And I guess that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you all in another video. Bye-bye.